Okay, g'day YouTubers, once again it's uh, Steve James Bar just doing a review of my Kiwi Pale Ale. Um, I've already poured one up and as you can see it is very, very clear. You can see my face through it. It's a lovely colour, very light colour. Um, it consists of um, New Zealand Gladfields Pale Malt, Gladfields Pilsner, uh, two and a half kilos of each, um, one kilo of Munich, and um, just a moment here, just a moment here, let me get rid of that. And uh, 20 grams of Pacific Jade uh, for 60 minutes, 20 grams of Rakao for 30 minutes, 20 grams of Kohatu for 10 minutes, 40 grams of New Zealand Cascade, 20 grams of, New, uh, of Kohatu and 20 grams of Rakao uh, dry hop for five days. And I've got to say, you, you do get the hops very lightly on the nose. It's, it's not overpowering. And more so on the palate. Um, I'll post a link uh, to my uh, br brewer's friend um, uh, website. And I got... Um, Give me a moment here. I got no. We'll get rid of that. I got uh, eighty percent efficiency on this one. Uh, Seventy-five attenuation. Seventy-five percent attenuation, and um, eighty percent brew house efficiency. And uh, I just came up with this recipe on my own uh, because I wanted to do it all New Zealand grain, all New Zealand hops. Uh, beer the original gravity was 1.070 the final gravity was 1.018 abv was 6.92 percent international bittering units uh were 55.34 and the srm color scale was 5.97 and it's pretty damn accurate i tell you what it's pretty damn accurate. I think mine might be slightly darker. But anyway, just a quick review to let you guys know how the Kiwi Pale Ale turned out. And uh, I think my next review will be of the pumpkin IPA that I made. <sighs> damn good drop. Okay, cheers guys over and out.